I watched the ball drop in New York City. Well, we weren't in New York City. It's just that the ball drop took place live. in New York City and we watched the ball drop courtesy of live footage by CNN oh and I think it's that channel it historically has the best New Year's Eve, New Year's Day footage. These are some leftovers of what Dad made around 11 p.m. in order to bring in the new year. This steak had been marinating for about 24 hours by that point. And all that marination uh, works pretty well on the steak. And Dad said it was like butter. And that's how tender it was. And it does seem to be pretty nice and tender. This is where I'm at currently in regards to the polystyrene reef Christmas ball. Christmas reef ball for my mom. I worked on the tracing using this end of this dual tip marker throughout the morning hours, both the early and the late morning hours, until roughly 11 p.m., Since that was around the time I had the leftover mashed potatoes and sausage Dad made yesterday, I recall microwaving the leftovers for a minute and then 30 more seconds. After determining it wasn't hot enough after the initial minute. I fell asleep around noon, 1 p.m.,
And then I think I woke up sometime between 6 and 7 p.m. Around 7.30, I saw a spider. Around this area, it appeared to be climbing the air to me and to be suspended in the air. And I took a picture of it around this area eventually. And of course, I know that a spider can't be suspended in the air. It had to be on some kind of thread, but that thread was so thin, it must have been so thin that I couldn't see it. So it appeared like it was climbing the air. I did the last of the tracing, I think, somewhere between 7 and 8 p.m. And then I did all of this I did this extent of the last part of making the Christmas reef ball. All that coloring in with this end of a dual tip, that dual tip Sharpie marker. And then I used this chisel tip you know, when at one point I became concerned that this was starting to dry out a bit but it seems to still be doing fine at this point it should have enough ink to last to cover the rest of the ball Although, uh, this cr Christmas reef ball is noticeably bigger than the last one I did. For my maternal... grandmother I could have finished the ball today I worked on it consistently after Waking up somewhere between 6 and 7 p.m., but it was more important to celebrate the new year with my dad. And during those celebrations, he made me at least one homemade meal that Consisted of a combination of raspberry cranberry juice by the generic Wegmans brand and 
cranberry vodka absolute by the absolute brand I if I recall correctly and I believe ginger beer from a four pack of glass bottles that he also got from Wagman's And we watched the ball drop off of CNN because CNN is the channel with, uh, that's the channel that has the New Year's Eve slash day live coverage with Anderson Cooper and Andy Coden. And they, along with the guests and performers that appear during that footage, always makes the time leading up to watching the ball drop with and my dad. Interesting and notable. Around six in the morning, I had my first cup of coffee with a muffin. And I had about three and something cups of coffee total. Uh, from that time to about 10 in the morning. For our little New Year's party, uh, Dad made cocktail sauce for, for the shrimp by mixing ketchup and horseradish with, I believe, uh, leftover cocktail sauce. Uh, both that and the horseradish itself, when it was given to me for taste, essentially to uh, rub some on some of the steak, it had some nice kick to it. It was quite enjoyable.